Nlight tutorial. In this Nlight tutorial, what I'm going to do, I am going to show you how to use the mixer tool. Um, so basically, I'm going to show you how you can sort of put, take one image, say, I don't know, yourself for instance, and put you in another scene. So change an image that you are in and put yourself in another scene. It's also good for, for sort of just, just quick edits where you can just remove somebody's face and put your face or put their face on something else. It's really good and I'm sure you can use your imagination. So I'm going to show you and we're going to use this um, this sort of sea scenery background that we've got here and all I'm going to do is I'm going to press tools and I'm going to press mixer. On the mixer, I'm then going to select my second image that I want to mix with my first image, and I'm going to put this UFO. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put this UFO um, in this sea scenery eagle or UFO. No, we use the yeah we use we use the UFO. We'll put it in this scene scenery. Um, I'm not claiming that this is going to be outstanding, excellent, but it is a really really great tool. As you know, Enlight's a great app. So um, so then what I'm going to do, I'm going to go to this tools at the bottom. I'll show you a few tricks that we can do um, when we're using our mixer and a few things that will, might might, um, might just trip you up a little bit. So, um, so, so yeah, as you can see, I've got a blue line around this image here. Now I can zoom in and zoom out of this image by pinching and squeezing as you would normally zoom in and zoom out on any, any image <clears throat> on, um, on any sort of Apple device. Now, if I want to zoom the background in, what I have to do is tap the background image. So all I've done is tap the background and then zoom in and zoom out of the background image. But just be aware, <coughs> it will, excuse me, it will zoom in the front, the front image as well. So just try and see as layers, you've got two layers there, this top layer right here, and then the bottom blue layer that's behind it. So the sea scenery behind it, and the top layer is our UFO in front of it. Now, if I want to erase everything in this image, or if I want to, let's say I want to turn the image, so all I'm doing is um, four thing, four finger and thumb, I'm just rotating the image um, the same as I, was, I would zoom in, zoom out. Now, if I want to delete this background, what I have to do is select this erase button at the bottom. And then what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna quickly, roughly um, rub out the edges of the image, being careful not to go over the part of the image that I don't want deleted. So I'm just gonna do it as, and now if you try and rush this sort of process, it's not a long process, but if you try and rush this process, you will mess it up and you will have to keep going back. Um, so I've just deleted as much as I sort of dare, if you like, without zooming right in. Now I want to zoom into this image now, so I'm gonna have to deselect the arrays at the bottom and then pinch and squeeze the image and zoom in nice and close. And then I'm gonna select the erase button at the bottom left again. And then I'm going to just go around the outline just with my finger and just rub out the outline. If I want to move the image, I'm gonna deselect erase at the bottom here. Then I'm gonna select erase to again remove the top layer that we called it, the UFO layer, um, and remove the background from that. Now let's say for instance, just one second, let me just get rid of this. Now let's say for instance, I make a mistake and I, oh, I erase some of the image, part of the image that I wanted to keep. What I'm gonna do is click this back button once and it will go and um, go back a step in what I did. Let's say for instance, I do two lots I'm then gonna have to click the back button twice. Okay, so it's quite straightforward. Then I wanna move the image again. So I deselect a raise. And just carefully, it's like coloring in, but the other way. So as you color your erasing, or removing, should I say. Like I said, you can have quite um, quite a bit of fun with this mixer tool if you um, if you want to put yourself in a different background, or you've got a few pictures of your friends and you want to put um, their head on somebody else's body. It's quite cool for that as well. Um, 
So once I think I've finished, what I'm gonna do is deselect the arrays and zoom out to make sure, and you'll see that, no, I haven't. I just want to erase this part as well. So select arrays again. And delete. And you don't have to be perfect. Again, I'm just gonna delete, erase this bit at the top. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna reposition before I press anything else. So I'm gonna reposition or resize this image to where I want it. And I want it a bit smaller than that. And I'm just gonna have it either up here, which would look quite cool, over here. I'm just, just placing it on the screen where I think, and I think this sort of location right here looks quite good. Either here or lower. I don't know. Um, I think a little bit higher. So that so there, I think it's quite good. Now once I'm done, I'm gonna click this tick button. But you have to remember, if you click this tick button, there's no going back. So I'm gonna click the tick at the top, right hand side, and then that is that image. Um, so that the what was two layers is now one layer. Now what I'm gonna I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go to filters, I'm gonna go to my duo filter, and I'm just gonna select this vignette filter right here. Now I can again pinch and squeeze to change the size of this vignette. And I'm going to want it just so it's darkened the edges of the image. And then I'm going to click the OK button at the top or the little tick at the top. And then I think this image will look quite cool in black and white and maybe um, maybe with a border. So um, let's have a look at the cold up here. And we've got this quite nice border. Um, so let's have a look at warm. I think. I think cold, cold is probably the best. Yeah, so I think cold with this border. Now if I want to change the size or the color of the border, all I'm going to do is go to the mask, down, sorry, the tools down the bottom here. And I'm going to change, select border. Then I could change the border by selecting one of these other borders here. But I'm quite happy with my white border, so I'm going to leave this border. And if I want to increase the size, I'm just going to slide my finger up the way and watch the bar at the top. Slide my finger up the way. Or if I want to decrease the size, slide my finger down the way. And I think, I think just here like this gives it quite a quite a nice look. And if I want to look what it did look like, again, I think I've showed you this on in live before. I just click this little button down here to see the changes that I've made in my last move. Click the little tick button to agree those changes and then click the little save button um, to save this session or save this photo. We're just gonna save this photo um, and I'll show you that image at the end. I know it's really, really simple, um, but really effective and you can have some great fun with it. So um, so yeah, go and, um, go and have some fun with that boy putting your head on one of your friends' bodies or something along those lines. Thanks a lot for watching, and I'll be back soon. Catch you later.